it's chicken time and today we're gonna make a Caesar chicken this is an easy recipe to make it doesn't take a lot of ingredients and in fact it might be ingredients that you have at the house and that makes it a win in my book first thing you're gonna need is chicken I'm gonna have to trim some of my fat on these but you are going to need some chicken I actually buy my chicken in big packs and freeze it individually you are going to need Caesar dressing Parmesan cheese you can use this. As I was talking to a friend the other day, you can get fancy and use real Parmesan, your choice. Today, since I have it, I'll probably do it a little bit of both, be fancy. <laughs> and, and you're gonna need sour cream. Simple, simple, simple. Let's get to it. So for starters, we need a baking dish. I just have two breasts to do for us. So we are going to use that. I'm just gonna spray a little bit of spray in it just be, so it doesn't stick and make cleanup easier. And then I am going to lay out my chicken breasts. These seem to have a little bit of fat, so I'm going to trim that off because I don't want that. Okay, after our chicken, we are going to take our Parmesan and we're gonna just sprinkle our chicken with Parmesan cheese. Now, just because I like Parmesan, we're gonna go both sides. And make sure that anytime you touch your chicken that you wash your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and set the chicken aside. Then we're gonna grab a bowl and I'm gonna take my Caesar dressing. Now, if I would have been ready, if, if I would have been prepared, I would have had that open. But I don't. And we're going to put in a cup of the Caesar dressing. Now don't worry, we're not gonna eat all of this. A lot of this will be on the it, left in it. We're just going to bake it in the juices of that. And then we're gonna take sour cream and I only need a half cup of sour cream. I think that's going to pretty much probably be the rest of this container. How perfect. And then we're going to combine that. And then just combine it and whisk it together. Once it's combined, now that it's combined, we are just going to pour this over our chicken. And I probably could have gone down to the half cup for the chicken because I'm only doing two breasts, but no biggie. I'm just gonna pour it over so my chicken's all covered and coated. And here's where I'm gonna get fancy. We're gonna put some Parmesan cheese over the top. This one's not opened either. Now I'll just sprinkle a little bit of cheese over the top to add it in. And now we're just gonna put it in the oven to bake. It'll bake for 30 minutes until the chicken is done. These are some pretty big breasts, so I'll have to double check to make sure that they are cooked the whole way through. But I'll bring you back when they are done. I didn't tell you that the chicken is experimental. Never had this one. Let's try it. The chicken is very, very moist. So yeah, it is very, very tender. Now the liquid on the bottom when I put it in the oven was very thick, but when it came out, it was very oily and buttery. That's okay because I'm not eating it for the sauce, I'm eating it for the chicken. The sauce just flavored it while it cooked. So if you take it at that, it's really good. If you're expecting to have a big white sauce, not gonna happen, but it's good.
just flavors up the chicken in a nice, fun way so we don't have boring chicken. No excuses.